October is almost over and the election is just days away. And yet everybody is still anticipating a major October surprise. But according to MSNBC's Joe Scarborough, that October surprise might have already happened. And I tell you, I think he's on to something here. Just wait until you hear what Joe Scarborough said. A lot of wild things have happened this election, including Joe Biden dropping out in late July, and that might have been the biggest thing to shake up the whole election. However, there were some twists and turns in this month, including audio tape of John Kelly, Donald Trump's longest serving chief of staff and a well-respected former four-star general, saying that Donald Trump is indeed what he would consider a fascist. But, but certainly uh, the former president uh, is in the far right area, He's certainly an authoritarian, um, uh, admires people who are dictators. Uh, he has said that. Um, so he fa certainly falls into the, into the general definition of, of uh, fascist. For sure. And John Kelly confirmed that Donald Trump called fallen American soldiers suckers and losers. He basically said to you that those who died for America on the battlefield were losers and suckers, and he said it more than once. Yes, uh, but he, not quite, he would say it would always, that something else would get him going off at times again the game. But he never could wrap his arms around why people would serve. Uh, the country in uniform, what was in it for them? That was the general theme. And if it wasn't John Kelly's remarks about Donald Trump being a fascist, then maybe it was The Atlantic publishing an article that said Donald Trump wanted the kind of generals that Hitler had. Even Tim Walls had to comment on that one. It's been reported that Donald Trump said, I need the kind of generals that Hitler had. Don't be the frog in the boiling water and think this is okay. As a 24-year veteran of our military, that makes me sick as hell. And it should make you sick. <laughs> Folks, the guardrails are gone. Trump is descending into this madness. A former president of the United States and the candidate for president of the United States says he wants generals like Adolf Hitler had. Think about it. And he already has the Supreme Court in his pocket. They've effectively given him full immunity. If he's elected again, he will appoint up to three more Supreme Court justices. And God knows there's not a single spine in the Republican Party in Congress that will stand up to him. You know that. But according to Joe Scarborough of MSNBC's Morning Joe, the October surprise has already happened and it's still happening. Just listen to Joe break it down. The October surprises, Willie, are not what everybody else is saying about Donald Trump. And I understand there's some pathetic people out there. Yep. Some, 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 some pathetic people that are trying to cozy up to Donald Trump, who are mm -hmm. trying to blame Jeffrey Goldberg or trying to blame General Kelly for a quote October surprise that they're making up. Of course, imagine that people actually questioning the integrity of those two, questioning the integrity of General Kelly. But no, those aren't the October surprises. The October surprises are what Donald Trump says and what he has said every time he has opened his mouth. The October surprise is that Donald Trump has said he's going to arrest his Democratic opponents. The October surprise is that Donald Trump has said he's going to use the army Mm -hmm. And he's going to use the National Guard against his political opponents. That's the October surprise. The October surprise is that Donald Trump has called Nancy Pelosi, Adam Schiff, called his Democratic opponents the enemies from within. The October surprise has been that Donald Trump has said the Democrats and people in the press who do not support him are the enemy from within and more dangerous to America. He has said it. He has said it. Not me, not Kamala Harris, not General Kelly, not Michael Schmidt, and not Jeffrey Goldberg, but it's Donald Trump who has said that Nancy Pelosi is more of an enemy to America than Kim Jong-un, 
than Xi, than Putin, and all the other communist leaders and dictators that want to destroy America. Willie, that's the October surprise. And that's big. That's Donald Trump's biggest problem right now. I have to agree with Joe Scarborough. Donald Trump's worst enemy is himself. And it's the things that continue to come out of his mouth that are sinking his campaign, not revelations from other people about him or things he's done in the past. He continues to put his foot in his mouth and remind people about why they should not put him back in the White House. He had four years to run this country. He did a terrible job. Everything from passing the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act that added trillions of dollars to our debt and never delivered on the promise of increasing GDP to a minimum of 6%, according to him. It stayed around 2%, just like it had before he passed the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. All the way to the terribly run pandemic, where Canada had 40% the death rate that we had here in America. It never should have gone down like it did here in America. And you can point your finger right at Donald Trump for a big portion of the reason why we did so terribly in the pandemic. That being said, there's plenty of time between now and the election for more things to come out. But I have a feeling that Donald Trump will continue to fuel the fire and push Americans toward the Kamala Harris camp and seal his own fate.